Hello everybody, Chaz from the future here. Uh, the video you're about to watch, I'm gonna warn you right now, is uh, a little bit shit. Um, now, you're, st you're welcome to watch it if you want to, but uh, I wasn't feeling too, too great. I should have just waited for the next day to actually record things. Um, but yeah, it's, n it's not too great, but to make up for that fact, uh, I'm going to be recording a bonus video that's going to come out in one or two days. Uh, now, it's not going to be Aether content. It's probably going to be uh, me doing a tour of my builds world or and perhaps building something else as well. Uh, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a warning and a hope for the future. <laughs> a little, little bit of an extra thing for since you have to endure this. All right, well... If you're still listening to this, you're probably committed, so enjoy the video. Are, are they gone? Where are those goddamn bastards? Where's the portal? Well, um, <laughs> hello everybody, welcome back, I, uh, I calmed down a little bit since the last episode, um, and now I'm just really hoping that the Moas, yeah, they disappeared, um, they probably went through the portal or they burnt in the daylight or something like that, I don't know, I don't know how they work, um, I... I think I'm actually going to spend this episode in the overworld, believe it or not. Um, there are a few things that I want to get done uh, in the overworld, specifically uh, gathering a little bit of iron and stuff. Well, as you can see, I was looking for the, the trowel here. Uh, it requires iron, and just a bunch of the stuff from uh, Quark uh, in general requires overworld stuff, and there's a lot to this mod, and I've never really played with it uh, all that much. So you can see there, there's there's some really interesting stuff, like you can, like these runes and stuff, uh, like you can dye enchanted uh, enchanted items, and there's new potions. So there's, there's so much really cool stuff in, in the Quark mod, and I just forgot that I, I forgot that there were shaders, and I just looked at that, and wow, okay. <laughs> Even something as simple as that is really nice, um, but yeah. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna spend a little bit of time in the overworld, kind of calm down from what was happening in the aether. Um, did I turn on? Yeah, the music is still is still on. So consider this uh, a, a whole nother part of the of the series. It's kind of like a two series in one, because <laughs> uh, I mean I'm not gonna go through. The trouble of making uh, making the Aether Portal itself, but might as well play it, play it around in in regular old survival Minecraft for a little while. Uh, make a home and all that. Um, oh yeah, that's another thing that Quark adds. It makes all the animals look unique. Uh, gives them all different breeds. So that's right at the spawn chunk. So I kind of just need to make a compass, and I'll make it back there. Um, yeah. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna go explore, and once I get the materials to make a compass, then maybe I'll decide to come back and go back to the aether. Um, there is not much of interest around here other than trees. Um, I kind of waited until midday because I didn't really realize. Or is that is this is that coming up or going down? That is blinding. I can't tell if that's coming up or going down. Sun sun rises in the east and sets in the west. I don't remember. I'm not good at uh, what geology. Is that be geology? I don't know. Um, good lord, I love the water in this so much. That's so nice. <laughs> so. uh... I guess yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna explore for a little while. Don't really have any real plans. Even underwater looks nice. Way nicer than vanilla, at least. And the clouds are a lot better than the weird blocky things that you get in vanilla. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. 
<laughs> you might have heard my mom in the background there. <laughs> um, hey, a village. That's a good start. Uh, so I, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna explore. I'm just, I'm just gonna have fun. I don't have any goals at this point. All my goals are back in the aether, and that's that's where my mind, my mind is set right now. Um, for a base in the aether, I definitely, I, I have some ideas. Um, Angel Island is a is a pretty simple one from from a, from Sonic. Uh, that's that's a pretty it's, it's a given. Um, Sonic is probably one of my favorite uh, video game franchises of all time. So paying homage to it would be fun. Uh, I've also done that sort of thing a lot, like with the Master Emerald Shrine. Um, it is getting dark already, so I guess I was wrong and it was the other way around. You're gonna, you're gonna crucify me in the comments, aren't you? It's, you know, it's fine. Um, Elvis? Hello, Elvis. I see, I think that's, is that from Quark? Probably, I'm just, I'm just gonna assume that everything's from either Quark or Aether. And I don't think that's from Aether. Um, Weaponsmith, wait, if there's a Weaponsmith, does that mean that there's a Blacksmith somewhere? I don't think so. That sucks. Cause that's, that's the one thing that you look forward to in villages. Doesn't seem to be all, all that much interesting. Um, although night times in the overworld, uh, if my game will load, that might have only been a few seconds for you guys, but it was actually a fairly substantial amount of time for me. I had to go up and have something to eat, and uh, I ended up getting distracted and hanging out with some friends. Luckily, I left the game and OBS open, so uh, we're right back where we were. I didn't do anything off camera or anything. Uh, but I do completely forget what I was doing. <laughs> um, I suppose just surviving. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna start start making stuff. I, I'm glad that I got a little bit of wood before I buck, buckled in for the night. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I completely lost my, lost my train of thought, whatever I was talking about before. So I'm kind of going into this uh, a bit blind again. <laughs> I might just end up cutting it and making this a, a third part and picking it up in the morning. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Oh, that's fantastic. Don't you just love it when that happens? Um, pickaxe is the most important thing. Right, so I was trying to get stuff for the Quark stuff. It's a... Uh, Quark is a mod that, if you don't know, it's, it, I think I mentioned it in the first episode where it's it's kind of hard to like go back to playing regular regular Minecraft after you play with Quark enabled because it adds so much. Oh well, please don't crash. Oh, there we go. Hopefully that didn't mess up the audio, but uh, anyway. Um, Cork is a mod that doesn't change the gameplay, but I, I, what was I, they had a really cool quote. Uh, change your I don't, I don't remember what it was, but it was it's it adds a bunch of uh, elements that stick to the original Minecraft feel instead of deviating from it and uh, just adding a bunch of stuff. Like most mods, just add a bunch of things to the game like well the aether for example is it's a it's a great mod but it's so radically different from the original game of minecraft um although i guess that's kind of a bad example because i'd i'd i'd, I'd accept aether into the uh, original minecraft how how close is it to daytime um Well, time, uh, query, query, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't remember how to do that, um, statistics, 
items. Can I just check it through here? No, you had you had to have made a, a clock at least once. Damn. What do you trade? You don't trade very much useful stuff. What do you trade? Also not super useful. I will moida. It is very warm in here. It's also 11 o'clock at night, so I'll probably end the episode quite soon, even though it has been a fairly short episode. I, uh... I, I think it's I think it's fine after the hecticness that was the last episode to have a slightly shorter one. I mean, other than the major cut that I made uh, between the two recordings, there hasn't been too too much cut out. I don't believe. Um, I oh right, that's why I was making an axe to get more. I don't know what's going on with my mouse, but it's uh it's acting weird. But I, I wanted to get some more wood so that I could make some coal so that I could make some torches so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh boy, I do not like not having any food. Oh wells. What can you do? I guess grow food is what you can do. <laughs> Goodness, I should probably stop recording because I'm I'm way overheated and I'm tired, so I can't really think of too many things to talk about. Um, why did I just turn all of that? It's it's fine. It's it's absolutely fine. I I, I was telling myself, yeah, I'm, I'm not in the right right mindset to play this right now, but it's fine. It's fine. That just makes it more entertaining for you because I fuck up everything. <laughs> or or less entertaining because I don't talk as much, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm trying. I'm I'm really really trying. <laughs> I I really like how they changed the looks of these cows. So that they're not all the exact same one. I don't know if I if I like the the actual look of the cows themselves as much as I like the original. Get back here, the original cow, but. The fact that they're all different, I like that. And some of them are good, like, that's fine. And the one that looked looks like the original looks looks fine. And the... What was the other one that I liked? The, uh... Black and... The black and white one? That was nice. Alright. How much did I... I only got three? Okay, fine. I will go out and chop one more tree. We're in the desert, so that's a little bit less less fortunate for trees. What? Okay, so it's it is turning daytime fairly soon. Why did I just leave this? I got distracted. What if, what is wrong with me right now? I don't know, but uh, hopefully it won't mess up everything. Cause I I I never. I never leave trees like that. I'm not. I'm just. If you're if you're wondering what is going on, I'm just very overheated and very tired. Because again, it's eleven o'clock at night. I don't know why I'm recording, but I am. <laughs> so don't don't worry about me. I'm not. I'm not upset or anything. Just tired. I have I have work in the morning and all of that, and yet I'm still up playing Minecraft goals. Alright, so I want iron is the main reason I came here. Also, caves look really nice, like with the with the shader pack. I've tried out a bunch of different shader packs, most of them changed the game, so oh, and if I just went, like, if I went two meters down, I would have found coal. God damn it. <laughs> Most shader packs change the game a lot. Like, I mean, this not that this doesn't, but it mo most of them change it to the point that you can't play, really. It makes it really hard to play, like, in caves and stuff. Um, 
makes it either blinding or way too dark or like the torches only illuminate a tiny area or maybe they illuminate way too much too much bloom or whatever this is the only one that I found that kind of it, it just kind of works like that's it kind of has the same sort of uh, gradual fade out that the regular vanilla torches do I like that I'm gonna keep going down to until I either run out of torches or find iron fire oh boy <laughs> so this is just turned into a regular minecraft let's play I suppose um, now the uh, the reason why I want huh <laughs> the re the reason why I want uh, iron specifically is because I want a trowel um, and I also want a, a uh, chisel once I get that mod working um, but the, the trowel, it basically is, makes it really easy to make paths and stuff, because it places a random block from your hotbar, or it might be from your inventory, I think it's from your hotbar though, uh, down in the world, so you can just make random, randomized paths a lot easier, and that's just another thing that Quark added, because it makes everything so much easier. It also makes it so that, uh, like dispensers can dispense blocks and all that sort of thing um, it's um, oh yeah and you can place like an iron spike on the end of a piston and it can break blocks so that's an interesting thing you can make automatic cobblestone generators a lot easier um, you can also toggle every single uh, feature individually so if you don't like one feature then you can just get rid of it um, that's what the um, Q here is for. You can just go into here and just disable individual things that you don't like, which is really, really nice. I like all of the features that it adds, so I have no reason to disable anything, but yeah. So once I grab this coal, I guess I'm just going to head up and cook this beef and then uh, cook the iron. And uh, I think I'll end the episode there. It's a, it's a short one. It's a very short one, so... Uh, Apologies for that, but next episode we'll probably be back to the Aether, building building up my uh, my Fortress of Solitude in that area that I designated. Uh, I got the coordinates for it, at least I got them recorded. I, I don't have them memorized, but I can just go back and look at the footage. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.